you hung on that cross And everyone thought you lost Courts of Praise Worship Center in Phoenix City is proud to present Beyond the Walls to our community. You'll find more about us online at courtsofpraisepc.com. Dress is casual and the services are awesome. Come join us and feel the power of praise. God's Christmas gift. Many years ago, in a land afar, shepherds followed a guiding star to a stable where a baby lay in a manger there on a bed of hay. For angels sang a song to them, telling them where to go find him, who had come to the world to bring peace and joy, the Son of God, a baby boy. He played on the shores of Galilee and grew as a child like you and me. He grew to manhood in the Nazareth hills. He sought not a life of comfort and thrills. He was filled with love and compassion and grace for a lost and sinful human race. He said, Father, I come to die for them. I'll take their place for their terrible sin. As he prayed in the garden of Gethsemane, he said, Father, if it has to be, I'll die on the cross on Golgotha's hill if that's what it takes to fulfill your will. He asked the Father our sins to forgive and he taught us how we ought to live. He died, he arose, he's in heaven above. He's there interceding for you that he loves. He soon will return to take all of them who have called on his name and are trusting in him. He's prepared us a dwelling place in a city four square. No sickness nor sorrow will ever be there. We'll rejoice while the ages of eternity roll because of his love he has for our souls. So beautiful. That is so beautiful. And this is, uh, we're entering into the Christmas season, and uh, Christmas is a special, special celebration of the birth of Christ, and it is not a holiday. It is a, cele it is a celebration of a birthday. And... Christmas is so beautiful. Uh, what would Christmas really be without Christ? You take Christ out of Christmas and you have nothing. And a holiday, well, it would be hollow, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, very it hollow. It would be so hollow and empty. Very hollow. And it would be so hollow without Christ. That's what Christmas is all about. I remember before I got saved, Twyla, uh, I would write Xmas. And I really didn't know better right. because I, I wasn't saved. Right. And I just thought it was a fast way of writing until someone pointed it out to me and they said, oh no, you don't cross Christ out of Christmas. I said, but it's faster and easier and that's like shorthand. They said, no, you don't cross him out. And after I got saved, I realized you don't because no. it's all about Christ. It's all about Christ. And it's so awesome to celebrate Christ and at Christmas. I would, um, you know, 700 and something years ago, uh, prophet Isaiah, he prophesied these words and he said, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, a virgin. 700 years before, 700 he, was years before he was born. And she called his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us, which is awesome. And there was another, there was another prophecy that he, he gave also. And he said, for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. Thank goodness. Oh, yes, the government. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And in him is peace, and he is so loving. He loved us enough to go to that cross and give his life. And God loved us so much that he gave us his only son, which was a gift to humanity, to the world. 
that's just not even imaginable. I can't, I can't fathom it. I know. I, it's, it's very hard. It's very hard to think, mm -hmm. think about. Um, I know that Christmas, we have the giving of gifts. We have, now I know we put up a very tall Christmas tree because in our uh, house we have a very high pitch in our living room yes. and I have to get on the top of the ladder and put this put the angel on the tip top of that Christmas tree and the angel is it's really tough it's almost like an acrobatic acrobatic uh, job to do and but anyway I always struggle and hold on to to the ceilings and all of that and you hold on to the ladders and you tell me not to fall yeah, that would be a disaster. Because that would ruin our Christmas. <laughs> that would ruin yeah. Christmas. <laughs> but anyway, it's, we've got to get that angel. And yes. that angel, we've had that angel that uh, comes out and flutters its wings. And you told me that angel was, how old was that angel? It's about 40 years old. 40? Mm -hmm. 40 years old, and we're still putting the angel mm -hmm. on top of the tree. Mm -hmm. And then we have another angel that we put in our tree. Yes. And that one comes out and flutters its wings and it goes back in. And our grandchildren, they love it. Yes. They love the angel. I love that angel because it reminds me of the angels that came and sang to the shepherds mm -hmm. and told them of the birth of Christ. And then they were there and went to see the Christ child. And every time I see that little angel flutter, it reminds me of that part the of, angel. of the Christ story, mm -hmm. which we know it's not a story, it's a life. It, yes. It's a life, and such a wonderful life. It, it went down in history. Yes. Yes, it did. You know, um, one of the, I remember one of our first Christmas, um, I didn't think that I was going to receive, well, we lived on a farm, and we picked up, I was a small boy. And, uh, we didn't really attend church, mm -hmm. so I didn't hear too much about Christ till Christmas, and, um, but, my mother and them, they, they weren't really uh, practicing Christianity. And I, re I remember they told us children, they said, well, I don't think you're going to receive anything as a gift this Christmas. But uh, we picked up potatoes and we picked up corn and we sold it to the county courthouse, I mean county schoolhouse. And uh, we had horses and and we'd go out and uh, my Christmas gift, though I was very surprised, they got me a little red wagon. Wow. And I thought, oh, that will pick up more, more potatoes. <laughs> they got you something to work with. They got with. me something to work, work with. <laughs> but I was so excited about my red wagon. And, uh, but later on we grew and we began to find out more about the meaning of Christ in Christmas. And uh, there's so many things that, you know, people, they, children look for so many gifts, but if it's not the amount of the gift, it's just the gift and the love that, that gives it. the gift. I remember my first Christmas that I remember, my mother and dad uh, uh, worked very hard and didn't really have money to go buy, so they made me a table and chair set. And the little chair set was little bears that on you the, could play tea mm -hmm, party. that I could have my little tea parties on, yeah. and uh, I I know my mother uh, she was always knowing what she did about Christ. She always imparted that to us children. And when Christmas came around, I really wasn't even taught about Santa Claus at all. Um, I seen him in the stores, and I would ask mother about him. And she would tell me, well, that's Santa Claus, but that was about it. Oh. But the meaning of Christmas was always prevalent mm -hmm. in our home, that it was the Christ child, and uh, that it was all about his birth. It so, is. So, you know, I, I really wasn't uh, taught too much about Santa Claus or that facet of Christmas. It was always about the Christ child. Well, later, later as I grew up, I learned more about Christ and when I accepted Him as my Savior. Mm -hmm. And then I learned more about Christmas, the meaning, the real true meaning of Christmas, and I stand very firm that is, it is all about Him, Christ alone. Christ alone. It is. And um, I know that when we first got married, uh, of course, our funds was, when you first get married, you really, you're doing well just to pay your bills and eat and go back and forth to work, maybe even buy one, one present for each other. Um, 
And our, our, I think that the best Christmas that we had was when we just had one another. Uh, it wasn't giving other well, gifts. Well, that's because Christ was a sinner and always has been the center of our marriage. Center of our marriage. So we knew what it, it wasn't about gifts. It was about what we were celebrating, which was that is his so true. birth. Mm -hmm. It was about Jesus. And I'm, I'm just really, I, I get real disturbed when I hear about uh, the nativity scene not being able to be placed I do too. in front of our buildings, our Trying federal to. buildings and mm -hmm. our um, schools and then the children not being able to sing the Christmas carols mm -hmm. of having Christ in it, joy to the world, the Lord has come, all the beautiful, beautiful Christmas songs that, that are so wonderful during this season. It seems like it's so uh, materialistic it is. instead of what the real reason is. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can't allow him to be excluded. Um, everything points to Christ. Even the lights in the trees, the, 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 the brightness and the glow. Well, the Bible says he is the light. He, he is. is the light of the world. He is. And I would like to read a scripture from, I would like to do a take from John. Okay. And speaks about... John's my favorite book. Yes, the Gospel of John where it speaks that, and it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Can you imagine? Jesus made all Everything. things. Everything. Everything. And without Him... Now, let's look at this. Without Christ, He made the world. He made heaven and earth. Flung the stars in he, space. He placed the stars in space. Knows every name of them. Oh, yes, He does. And He made creation. He made everything. The fish in the sea. The fowls in the air. He made you and I. I mean, He made Everything, the Bible said, all things, all things. All things. Were made by Him and without Him. How can we take Christ out of Christmas and just call it a holiday? Well, like you said, it would be hollow. It would be hollow. It would be empty. It would be dark. But, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Now, this is what I like where it says, in him was life, and you take Christ out of Christmas, no life, mm -hmm. no joy, no peace. Mm -hmm. He brings peace. Mm -hmm. He brings happiness. Yes, he does. He brings the glitter. And then the life, the life was the light of men. So the light shines. Can you imagine having Christmas without lights? Now look at these beautiful trees. What yeah. would they look like without no lights? Sure. It, you'd have the lights in the tree. I, I know that when we put the lights up in our tree, uh, it wasn't beautiful until we turned the lights on. Even with all the ornaments, they were pretty and nice, but when you turn them lights on, I know the it's lights, like it happens. The light throws the glitter of the beauty of the season, and the lights, it shines in darkness. Now, how can you enjoy a, a holiday dark season? You can't. It's, it's not enjoyable. But the Bible said that in him was life. And that life was the light of men. So the light, it lightens us. Just like when Christ comes in, he lightens up a room. Mm -hmm. This is his season that we celebrate him. He, he brightens up our celebration. Yes. Because we're celebrating his birth. Yes. We're celebrating him. Mm -hmm. And he brings so much light, and he brings light into dark men that doesn't know Christ. And when they find Christ, they find the light. Mm -hmm. And the light shines. You know, it's much easier to find your way. Your way. When you have light. A light. When it's dark and dim, you're liable to stumble. Well, you do stumble. You do stumble. You stumble because you And when you, you stumble, see. you hurt yourself. You do. And uh, light is very important. The darkness cannot put the light out. It says it can't comprehend it. It can't. It doesn't even comp it can't even imagine what the light is. The darkness can't. You walk into a dark room and strike a match 
and the match lights uh, and the light lightens up the just whole that small and little light. light just a small, small light. light small light i love it and look at these small little bulbs yeah and the light comes on and it brightens the trees and it shows the glitter from the the glory of the the bulbs and the tree points toward heaven and the gifts that is given in love mm. is it's all they all represent christ and try to exclude that out of our Christmas celebration, you're excluding Him. Yes. Well, that's what Christmas is. It is. But this, the, the wonderful thing is, uh, is when I read this, that it says that He was the true light which lights every man that comes into the world. He's the true light. He's the one that's going to lighten us. But this is the real clincher. He was in the world, and the world was made by I him. Am. Can you imagine? He made this whole, whole world, universe. and people have the audacity to say, let's cross him out. My goodness. Let, let's cross Christ out. We can't do that. No, Why? He, no. ma he made heaven and earth. Yes. The glory of the heavens. Yes. And he made us. And he placed us on this earth that we could go and tell others of his that light. That we can be the light. Yes. And we, can, we carry, we, we walk with that yes. light. Yes. And it, when you have Christ, you walk with the light. The light. And he keeps us from stumbling. Mm -hmm. So the, the greatest story is his birth. And that was an awesome poem. You know, you this read. is a poem book that my precious mother wrote, Words of Wisdom. And um, I'm just so blessed by it because she is the one truly that t told me and taught me that Jesus was the light of the world. The light of the world. And she has many sermons in this book, but the Christmas poem just kind of, she put it all together and the whole story is there of his birth and also of his death. You know, you can't hardly separate his birth and his death, and his death. because he actually came to, to die, give his life. To give. He came to give his life. That we could have that life. That we could have life, everlasting life. Everlasting. We had that blessed hope. And my mother passed away uh, February the 10th of this year, so I'm going to miss her this Christmas. But I have all of the wonderful memories mm -hmm. of the times that she spent with me in Christmas. And, you know, I just recall one time that I went to the store and... Uh, I wanted this little dog that it had batteries, and this goes along with the power of the light. light, you know, because a lot of times it takes <laughs> a battery to light the lights up, and I found this little dog, and you push this button with the batteries in it, and it would bark, and it would set up, and I wanted it so <laughs> bad, and I just begged Mom, and she said, it's too much money, because, you know, usually, you know, children these days, they get gifts all year round. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, every time my mom and daddy gets a paycheck, they get a, they gift. Get a gift. So Christmas, you have to really do big things do big for things. them to realize, you know, this is Christmas. But when I was a child, you got a birthday gift. Well, one gift. Uh-huh. And you got a gift at Christmas. Well, when I found this little dog, I just really put in for it. And she made me think that I wasn't going to get it because it was she a did. little too much money. But mm -hmm. When she wrapped the, this box and put it under the tree, I just knew that's what it was. And being a little sneaky, I went in there and snuck and got the tape off. And I looked, and you know, I ruined my Christmas because I knew what my present was. Mm. And you know, that just really spoiled the whole Christmas. Christmas for me because I was sneaky and didn't wait to see that fun gift on that the morning. Anticipation. anticipation. You, just, you just blew it. I blew it. Well, see, I never did that again. When we, have, when we have Christmas, we have to get a trash can and get all of this paper. Yeah. And we won't let anyone get around the Christmas tree because we already know they're going to guess. Be they're, sneaky. They're going to be sneaky mm -hmm. and they're going to look and see. But uh, the joy, though, is... But the joy was she went and got you a gift. Yes. And she took her time, time. to wrap the yes. gift. In, in love, in mm -hmm. thoughtfulness, and she knew that's what you wanted. I really wanted that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the giving of the gifts. And that's the thing with Christmas, you know. It's, it's really trying to see people 
be happy. Be happy. Uh, to me, now that I'm older, uh, it's more special it is. for me to give than to receive. I really don't even care about receiving, but I love to give and see people. That's Christmas to yes, me. Yes, that's Christmas. Christmas to me is not receiving, it's giving. And that's how Christ was. Mm -hmm. He came to give. And I think the joy of Christmas is seeing those that really would like to have something special and see them get it mm -hmm. and see their life. Well, that's God's love too. Their see, he gave, his, he gave His only Son. Only Son. The only Son. And uh, that's, that's love. It's love. When you can give your only Son. Mm -hmm. Well, too, though, you have to, even though... I know it was horrendous, and you know if you watch the movie of the Christ oh. when he was crucified, it's just heart wrenching. But the blessed hope that he knew he was going to rise again. He knew he was going to rise. You know, on that third mm -hmm. day, no doubt about it, he knew mm -hmm. that he would rise and again. And the promise that he's coming back. Yes. Oh, that is awesome. That's the ultimate. It is. He's coming back for us. He's not going to leave us. No. He loves us. He loves us. Mm -hmm. So he's coming back for us. He's coming again, and it gives us hope mm -hmm. that we're not going to stay here. No. We're going to be with Him. Mm -hmm. But Christmas is so beautiful, and Christmas is beautiful. You know, we have a, a, lot of, a lot of things that takes place around our house. The Christmas meal, the family gathering, and one thing that I, it didn't happen with us when I was coming up, because I wasn't really raised in a Christian home. Later on, our family all come to the Lord. But uh, in our home, the pattern was set by your mother. Yes. We would, we would read, or she would read, the Christmas story. And now each one of us is reading the Christmas story. And that's what I remember from my childhood up. Before mm -hmm. gifts were open, before anything the Christmas happened, story Christmas was morning, read. The Christmas story was read. Mm -hmm. We knew the reason mm -hmm. for the season. The season. And Christ is. He is the reason for the, the season. The children get a little antsy sometimes because they think it's a little long. And Mama always read the longest story about the she Christmas. <laughs> always. I can, see, I can see our little one, Ian. Mm. Uh, I, he's ready to go. Uh, he is so ready. And Jojo will really and know Jojo. this Christmas this oh, year. He's, he's two, so last year it was kind of vague, but this year. But he's I, learning now. He's yeah, getting a he, gift. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. gonna. But not only is he getting the gift, he is uh, learning the Christmas story. Yes. What the gift is, is about. about. And that's what makes Christmas joyful around the house. You know, I just pray for all the ones in our area and, and other areas that this Christmas that the Lord will be real to them. And that if they don't have family, that they'll s some way be joined in a, a mission somewhere or somewhere that they're celebrating Christmas. Mm -hmm. Beyond the Walls, presented by Courts of Praise Worship Center in Phoenix City and brought to you by Phoenix Drag Strip, where racers, fans, and families come together for the best drag racing action in the Southeast. Building Unlimited, our name says it all because we build it all. Commercial or residential, we've got you covered. Cuts Unlimited. From residential lawn maintenance to full commercial landscape design and installation, call us first. J.L. Thomason Builders. Over 22 years of quality home and commercial building and remodeling. J.L. Thomason. Quality guaranteed. And Westwood Properties. Beautiful and spacious apartment homes in Phoenix City. Call us today and move in tomorrow. Also Diverse Mechanical for all your commercial, fabrication, and welding needs. Located in Columbus, Diverse Mechanical. Thanks to all of our fine sponsors for bringing Beyond the Walls to everyone in our community. You know, right after Christmas, we're always thinking about the new year. We are. And all the resolutions, I know mm -hmm. I need to make a big one of losing some weight. <laughs> I've talked about it all year, but I, I really... I think everyone makes those New Year resolutions. After, I don't know if they keep them, but I at least they make don't. them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, we need to make a resolution, and I hope all those that are in our church family and those that are listening in our audience, that uh, we make our spiritual life to grow. Mm -hmm. And 
become more like Christ this next mm -hmm. year. You know, try to walk like Him and talk like Him mm -hmm. and think, have the mind of Christ. It makes such a difference when you wake up in the morning and you devote mm -hmm. yourself to having His mind instead of your mind. Because, you know, a lot of times people, they focus so much on the outward or the exterior of the mm -hmm. New Year's resolutions of uh, new wardrobes and uh, uh, dressing their body up when in a slimmer fashion and going on a diet and making all I know our boys are going to the CrossFit. They're going to CrossFit. All on different diets and toning uh, up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, our spirit life needs to be toned up. It needs to be toned up. And... New Year's resolutions on checking our heart, our spirit, our attitudes, mm -hmm. and see where we stand mm -hmm. and evaluate our own selves yes. and make some New Year's resolutions there, which is the most important. Yes, it is. Now, our body will just pass away, but we can have that new life, Yes. And, which is Christ. Everlasting life. He is the life, and He is our light. Yes, He is. And once He comes in, He keeps us safe, and secure from darkness, keeps us from stumbling. I hope that people will make a resolution to find a, a wonderful Bible-believing church. I do too. And if they don't have one, we would love to have them come here oh, to we Courts would, of Praise. We would dearly love to have them. It would be awesome more to have More people to love. More people to it's love. It's so wonderful when you, when you have we people to love. We can grow together. You know, when I was in cosmetology, I had a professor that told me, when you're green, you grow, and when you're ripe, you rot. You rot. So I hope that this next year that we'll just keep growing. I do, too. That is my prayer. That is our prayer. Why don't you just say a Christmas prayer and bless the new year to. that's coming up? Yes, we'd love to pray uh, for you and your family that Christ will be the center of the Christmas in your home and the center in your heart. And we pray. Father, we pray that you will bless their home and bless their Christmas in their home. And we pray that all of the family will know more about Christmas and the meaning, the true meaning of Christmas. They love you, and we love them. And we pray, Lord, that you will just bless them. We know your love is everlasting. And we ask, God, that you will bless their home richly, bless their heart, and cause them to feel your love. In Jesus' name we pray, and we'd like to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Courts of Praise Worship Center in Phoenix City is proud to present Beyond the Walls to our community. You'll find more about us online at courtsofpraisepc.com. Dress is casual and the services are awesome. Come join us and feel the power of praise.